This is probably the second highest priced t-shirt that I have ever sold. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the cabin, it is good to be back. We were away over there in Tennessee for the 127 sale. First time I had ever been Really had a great time, thanks to some wonderful folks that helped OBX Picker. Thanks for taking care of all the details. And we met a whole ton of great people. A bunch of pickers, YouTube resellers, a bunch of other resellers that uh, saw us at the sales. And hopefully you get to see those. We're going to be probably releasing a 127 video every week for the next maybe, I don't know, month. And then kind of dispersed in there, we're going to put other videos that we've just filmed or are going to film this week or next week. Got so many great finds, I just can't wait to show you. I'm excited about a lot of them. Can't wait to get them in here. I've got them stacked up in there from the 127. And we're going to have some great sales and some really, really cool stuff to show you here in a little bit. But we had a ton of sales. So it looks like 1,202 out of the Commonwealth Picker or the Commonwealth Picker eBay store and then a couple of sales at a Turner store. And that was while our store was on vacation. So pretty cool. Let's take a look. This sale right here is from, a, I just, I cannot wait. I got to get this one edited next. Pens quality tobacco tin. Wasn't in the perfect condition, but it was okay. You know, the hinges are all working and everything. Still got that on the back. And I'm like, you know what? That thing's pretty darn cool. We're going to pick it up. I don't know what it was, maybe a buck or so. And I knew it wasn't going to sell for much, but I just had to have it. It sold for $10 plus shipping. Next one's back here in the Tupperware bin. And I just can't resist this stuff, even though it's not huge profits. But this was dirt cheap. Less than dirt cheap. Because it was in a huge bundle. It was basically for free. So because it was for free, I couldn't turn it down. If you get a big lot of these, they're actually worth some money. But one thing to look out for. Let me see if I can get it here. It's these cups right here. One thing to look out for is the lids for these cups. That's what's really good. The lids are worth more than the cups. But if you can get a big stack of these, they're pretty good. This isn't a huge stack, but they're going to go out first class. Probably 4x4x6. Four by four by Just barely is going to fit them. That's my guess. 8 ounce rate. And uh, $7 plus shipping on that. I initially turned this one down at a sale. Then I'm like, you know what? I can't turn that thing down. It is going to sell. And I was pleasantly surprised to see. I was thinking maybe $10 plus shipping on it. It's Eddie Bauer. And I'm like, yeah, I'll pick it up for a buck or whatever. It's got that vintage tag in it. It's Eddie Bauer. But this is Goose Down. I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely grabbing that on, on second thought. Not on the first thought, but on the second thought, I'm definitely grabbing that. And I was pleasantly surprised. $24 plus shipping on that one. Next one is from the same sale where we got that tin, and I just love this sale. It's going to be a long video because we bought so much at one sale. But this one came from there. It was a lot of bumper stickers, and this was the worst one of the bunch. Probably one of my favorites, but it was the worst one of the bunch, and we'll make about three, three fifty on it. It was in the lot, so I grabbed it, and it's in the froggy flips drawer. And this is the south of the border one. We are already in the pure profit on these. Only took one sale to get there. Two bucks for the whole lot. Well, there you go. I'm sure a lot of you comment below if you've been there before. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hey, this one to a viewer went to David. He says, congrats on the full time sitting underneath the tree, <laughs> which is awesome. And I'm looking out there right now and there's a chicken in my chair. And if it's in there very long, you know what else is going to be in the chair? I got to go. All right. This next sale is exciting. I think I took an offer. I think I had it listed for 250, 250 bucks. And I took an offer for 220 bucks. This one's headed out to Southern California, which is really no surprise for a shirt like this. Sometimes they'll go different places, but a lot of times they will go to Southern California and then be resold again for an even bigger price, or possibly it could be used in a TV show, but I think this one is going to be resold. This is probably the second highest priced t-shirt that I have ever sold on eBay. It should be right here. It comes from Fire on the Wire sale. I want to say I paid either a dollar or two for this shirt and it sold for 220 plus shipping so there it is it is a dale earnhardt shirt you see the number three there but what makes it so awesome besides the fact it's chase authentic made in the usa 
It is a double stitch shirt there, you'll see. But down there, it's a single stitch shirt. So you see the difference right there? Double there, single there. But this thing is an all over print. You'll notice that uh, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Look at that. Bass Pro Shops, Burger King. I mean, this thing is awesome. And it's in pretty good shape. A little bit of fade, which, you know, for a vintage shirt, you can find stuff with stains and holes and fading. And it still doesn't make much difference. So what do you think about that thing? Would you pay $220 for it? That thing is awesome. Love it. All right, I was digging back there and I could not find this next one. And I knew it had to be in the back somewhere. I'm like, where the heck are these things? They're neon. So I picked them up for next to nothing, quarter piece or something like that. And then I found them buried way back here. And it is Jesse Jones Hot Dogs Sausage and Bologna. <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, does that not just scream 90s right there to you? Maybe even late 80s, but I think that's 90s. So that one and this one I put together, they're really light. They'll go out at the 8-ounce rate. So for $18.50, not too bad. With hats, people always ask what I put them in. If it's a hat that's under, say, 25 bucks, 20 bucks, goes in the 8 by 6 by 4 something like this, it doesn't hurt it to get smushed down a little bit. If it's a really expensive hat... I'll put it in the 10 by 7 by 5 box, which is down there. Speaking of here, let me give some thanks to some people. All right, we had a bunch of folks while we were gone get the shipping plans for the table. Brian, Linda, Susan, Suzanne, Brenda, Josh, Todd, Bobby, and Edwina. Thank you very, very much. Uh, don't forget, if you're on Instagram, send us a picture or send us an email with a picture once you get it done. Appreciate it. Those plans can be found on CommonwealthPicker.com. See that quick little plug there? Slide that thing in there. You don't need a box for this one though, so you don't need a shipping table, you need a bag. Preferably just a little padded mailer. Dominic Hasek, if you remember the one of the Raleigh sales, I picked up a bunch of pucks and some bobbleheads for I think 20 bucks total. We are already in the profit. I've only, I haven't sold, let's see, I've sold one bobblehead. Turned out the bobbleheads weren't a great buy at all. We are gonna make money on them, but we're making far more money on the pucks. This one especially. All pure profit at this point. This one sold for $44. Dominic Hasek autograph. And it does have the hologram there. Steiner Sports. So I guess maybe that means that it's kind of authenticated-ish. I don't know that that's for the puck. Or if it's for the signature and the puck. But who the heck knows. All I know is it sold for $44. And I paid a buck for it. Pretty good. Hey, I'll have a bunch of stuff came to the P.O. Box. And we got to get through it'll take us a little while so it looks like there's three four five but i got to show you this this came from chris patriot picker who lives right down the road from us and he's got a youtube channel he's on instagram and let me move it over here and facebook fred and charlie and he is always being kind to us and sending us stuff our way check it out check it out look at that just love it at the Animan Golf Club head cover. We have sold these in the past. These are hard to come by. Really hard to come by. He is a thrifter. He goes to the Goodwill. And I guarantee that's where he found these things. So that is awesome. And I dropped his message here. Let me grab it. There you go. That's his eBay store right there. Fred and Charlie, I think that's... They, they do all kinds of stuff. They're actually the ones who did... Do I still have that thing? Where is it? That one right there. That's the original mug they did the prototype for right there. They do the vinyl. Do great stuff. Go check them out. I'll see if I can put a link. So thank you so much, Chris. We're going to auction these off for the fundraiser for the shed. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put one up. Hopefully by the time you see this video, we'll have one up. So thank you. And to your wife, Shannon. I appreciate it. Next sale came from Richard's Place down there in Appomattox, and we made it into the pure profit now, which is good because this one made very little profit. I think this is the last one. It's an RC car kit. Am I grabbing it here? There it is right there. So a few of these. I think we're all out at this point. Maybe there's one left. $4.75 plus shipping on this. We'll go in a 6x4x4 by four, by four box, which I have over here that one right there i think it's gonna fit that's gonna be tight it might fit only if i can bend that thing down Oof. maybe maybe if not this thing's pretty sturdy i might put hmm, 
piece of cardboard on top and bottom and slide it in a bubble mailer. All right, changed my mind. Seven by four by two. Be perfect. Just exactly what I need. And that is, I think I have a link to those below. That particular size. I'm not sure if I do or not. If I don't, I should because I love that box. This back here, this is the kind of sale I love. And I can understand if some people don't, but this is, I paid a quarter for these. They're nothing amazing here. I've sold, I don't know, what have I sold? Three, four of these already. And it's only been a little while. And really simple, easy, easy shippers. It is a solid stainless steel rosewood handle Danish style tray. I mean, nothing to that thing at all. Quarter. Sold it for 11. So here's the breakdown. It's, it's you know, one listing or two. There's two different types. And I think there's 16. I can't remember if there's 16 of this type or 16 total. I should probably have counted, but I didn't. But it is one listing and it's an easy shipper. Love this stuff. It's only making 604 profit. But so what? Easy, easy stuff in one listing. Love that stuff. I'm not a huge fan of selling shoes, but you can see one, two, three bins. I do sell them, and I've done okay lately, better than usual. Oh, they're right here. I didn't need to pull it all the way out. I thought they'd be deeper than that. These are kids Converse. They were in really great shape, so I picked them up, and they were only a dollar. And they weren't going to sell for much, but for a dollar into $12.95 plus shipping, not a bad little profit. The Inaman today is going out to Marianne. Thank you so much. We appreciate the support. She says this is her donation to the next shed. And I think her name was Commonwealth Treasure Trove. She wanted to nominate for the next name of the next cabin. So thank you very much. You got a relatively good deal compared to what these are going for lately. So awesome. Can't wait to send it off to you. Appreciate it. Hey, we got the homeschool hustler with us here. We got Turner and he's ready to play catch. He said, hey, let's go play catch. I said, it's 800 degrees outside, but yep. I'll do it because yeah. I love you, right? Yeah. But you got to do your sale first, don't yep. you? Do you remember where the Secret Life of Pets ones are? Yep. You do remember? <laughs> All right, this is uh, Mel. And he's a pug. Oh, nope, it's one up. Inns are picking up. It's fun. It's fun. It is the pug. I think it's that one. There you go. That's it. And you know what? Let's just stay right here. That sold for $9, buddy. And you know who bought that? Somebody named Marcus. Can you tell Marcus thank you? Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> All right, that's enough money for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. A lot of people ask lately why Sophie doesn't do videos with me still. She used to sit right there, right there, right there, and do the videos with me. But she doesn't anymore. Short answer here is that I changed the time I did my videos. And the kids are home most of the time. Look at you, you're gonna fall asleep. And so she doesn't want to stay here very long. She hears anything at all and she's gone, right? But she came down to see me. So I figured I'd go grab her and at least let her say hi. There you go, say hi, Sophie. <laughs> I'm gonna set her down and she's gonna be out of here. Unless I keep peanuts. If I keep peanuts, she might stay. Hey, viewer sale. This one's going out to Corey. <laughs> let me read this message. Do I need a sticker of a pig? No. Do I have any idea what a southern fried cotton pig is? Also, no. <laughs> I've been watching your channel for years and once in a while I like to buy from you to continue to support. Last item I bought slash one was the Yu-Gi-Oh binder. It was an auction. He says he was able to make a $50 profit on that binder reselling it after he picked the cards that he wanted. And I mean, that's a lesson for you. Very, very often, I do auctions for a few different reasons. I have a, a video about it, but one of the reasons I do auctions is to avoid doing the research. It takes a long time. You're gonna take a cut rate when you don't do the research, when you don't part things out, you don't sell things independently, but sometimes that's the right decision. If you're an expert in something or if you know something well, you don't have to do the research, you already know, relatively speaking, and so maybe, Corey, you know. So awesome, I'm glad you can make a profit on that, and he also bought the Inaman, which sits on his Rolo printer. So you're gonna make a profit on that if you decide to sell it as well, I promise you, <laughs> because the, the prices those are going for. At any rate, Corey, thank you very much, and this pig, is headed your and you know what it's even worse than that right it's got like a hawaiian theme to it crazy all right here we go 20 something a piece 46 dollars for these two mary Kay going out age defying moisturizer 46 bucks 
I think plus shipping. I didn't look to see what she did. But just to give you an idea, I paid $15 for a giant box. So we are already in the pure profit. So whatever this is, 46 plus shipping or 46 free, doesn't really matter. I think it's 46 free. It's gonna ship out for probably the eight ounce rate because we're already six ounces in and maybe even more now. And uh, this stuff is just gold. I told my wife, I was like, I think we'll make at least 500. After she went through it and started listing it, taking pictures, she's like, I think six to 700. But we'll see. Also another viewer sale, Dr. Demento Twisted Radio Wave. So we have these, these, and about that same amount outside still, so in the cabin. Uh, there you go, Jerry Garcia, here we go. This is a viewer sale, Derek. He says, I'm the guy who messaged you on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for all your videos. I have a hard time keeping up with almost everything, but I do okay on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and want to send me a message, I try. No promises over there either, but I try. They've been a big help and sometimes a pretty good laugh. Keep them coming. Thank you, Derek. Ted your way. Sold another Tommy shirt right there. Little damage here, spot here and there, not perfect. But it did sell for $20 plus shipping. We paid four bucks. You hear that? That's the Inaman bids going up. <laughs> Crazy. I'll put it right here, see if it'll go up again. Uh, you gotta be careful on the Tommy shirts. That's plain Jane, but it is 100% silk 2XL. This one sold. This is from quite a long time ago. Long tail here. I think this was like $8.50. Free ship, so it'll go out $2.89 medium mail. And uh, I bought a bunch of this stuff and did really well on it because it was like a whole box for like five bucks. There we go. It's going up. Crazy. At any rate, uh, I like selling this old stuff. Takes a while sometimes because only some people need it, but I'll make the four bucks on it. Look, I leave for four days and look at all this. And this isn't even half of it. <laughs> Who bought stuff from me today? Susan, Frank, Brenda, Amy, Kathy, Kyle, and Sari. Or is it, that might be Kylie. I'm not Did sure. I count wrong? Oh, I thought there was eight, seven. I don't know how many there are. I think we got you all. If we didn't, we'll get you next time. That's a lot of stuff. Yes. Nothing green though. Mm -hmm. Nothing yellow. <laughs> Your makeup, you got half the makeup painting. Yes, What's going on? Me and my friends are like making a movie and she's doing my makeup. That, that, that girl. She's doing my makeup for the movie that we're making. <laughs> You're making a movie? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm going to have to make sure this, Hi. I got to have to do some editing. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthsticker.com. Hey y'all, really quick thank you here. 100 people now have used American Bubble Boy Link down below in the description. I very much appreciate that. I can't believe there's that many people already who've done that. We've only been doing this for a couple of weeks. So thank you for that. Here are some buy me coffees. So many. We got to get caught up. So if you donated to the new shed, we got your name in the book, but the thank yous will kind of slow roll out here. All right, here we go. Cheryl, five. Thank you very much. If you want to go to common or Commonwealth, what is it? Buy me a coffee slash Commonwealth. You can look at everybody's nominations, messages, something just so, in my response to them if you want to. And let's see here, Mal the Sports Gal, <laughs> MM Random, I think that's right. That's the store, maybe? That's awesome, three buy me coffees. Kathy, five buy me coffees. Someone left five buy me coffees, or buy me a piece of the shit, I guess I should say, except for they didn't leave their name, but they did say their daughter's name, Emily. Thank you for the kind message. And hello to your daughter. Reagan says hello too. And the answer to your question... Oh, hey, that reminds me. I've, I have all kinds of messages all the time. And lots and lots of questions. I used to do the Sunday show. Which, that's the show we kind of stopped doing. We only do three... What We used to do five what souls a week. Now we're doing three. And so, I don't answer very many questions anymore. Which, you know, a lot of you old pros, you don't need any questions answered. <laughs> you know the answers to the questions already. You could answer them <laughs> down below. You don't even need me. But some of the new folks have questions. So I decided we're going to bring back the shipping videos maybe once a month, twice a month. And the question and answer videos once a month, twice, twice a month. But we're not going to do it on this channel. We're going to go do it on the small channel as to not upset all you pros who don't care about those questions anymore. <laughs> so that is Commonwealth Auctions. So if you have a question, either leave it on Instagram or down below in the comments here and I will answer it and we'll try to do two videos a month answering viewer questions over on the auction channel and then I'm going to try to get uh, two shipping videos in as well to help people just you know random things how do I ship x y or z and you can watch it and listen to some 
bluegrass picking or whatever. All right, this is getting too long. I can't even read my own writing. Oh, American Arbitrage, y'all. 15 buy me coffees. Buy me a piece of this shit. That's amazing. Thank you very, very much to Kerry. If you don't know American Arbitrage, you're probably not on TikTok because he's like huge on TikTok. He's got a pretty good sized YouTube channel as well. You should go check that out for sure. He does great garage sale videos. I enjoy watching his content. So thank you. That was totally, you know, I did a lot. I don't do lives. I've done three lives ever. I did a live video with Chris Old School Picker, like before anybody knew who I was or he was. And it was terrible because I was just testing my internet to see if it worked. I did one with John Cincinnati Picker, and it worked pretty good. It was upstairs. It had a good signal that night, and I was like, okay, it worked all right. And I decided since I was out of town and I could hopefully get a signal because I'm out of town, I was going to do one on Instagram with American Arbitrage, and we did. It was a fun time. So I'm not against the live stuff. Matter of fact, I'd like to do some live stuff on that other channel, Commonwealth Auctions channel, but alas, the internet around here stinks. It's not very dependable, so we'll see. If we ever do lives, it'll definitely be on that channel. So anyway, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We can't wait to see you next time. All right, we got Reagan with Commonwealth yeah. Comedy here. She says this is a long one, so is you better really roll. Is that a joke? I don't know what it is. Okay, let's start. Oh, so there's 301 bricks on a plane and one falls off. How many are left? 300. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? Push hard. You open the door and put it in. How do you put a giraffe in a fridge? How? You open the door, take the elephant out, and then put the giraffe in it, and then they close the door. Uh, the Lion King was having a party, and all the animals were there except one. Which one wasn't there? I don't know. The giraffe, because it was in the fridge. <laughs> uh, Susie <laughs> crossed a pond full allig alligators, and she got across safely. How? I don't know. Because they were at the Lion King's party, and then she suddenly dies. How? I don't know. The brick that fell off the plane. <laughs> Gosh. I love that Funny, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Makes man. Sense. My old brain can't take it. <laughs> See y'all. Bye.